so can you my spot back now? Thank you. Did you say no? I said no. I don't know if any of you guys were um, with me about a month ago. I played a couple of teeny little shows in Manhattan at La Croissant Rouge with my father, Jack, and um, he's here in the audience tonight, he like got inspired, it wasn't supposed to come to the show, and he came, and he came um, with my wonderful stepmother Donna, and my brother Alex, and they're out there somewhere, my dad killed it on the road, my dad went on tour with me. I hope that I am not fucking rocking in my 70s. We should all be that amazing when we're in our 70s. Still playing music. And um, it always feels, it always feels strange and surreal to play this song in front of my dad. <laughs> I wrote it when I was about, I wrote it when I was about 22 and going through the I think the really like necessary trials and adjustments that you have to go through emotionally when you have divorced parents and you are fully slammed in the face when you become an adult with the reality of who you are and where you come from and the fact that you have a you have a biological past and then you have the thing that's around you, you have the people who have raised you, and some of them are in your blood, and some of them are in your school, and some of them are your next door neighbors, and some of them are your musical heroes. And there you are, trying to make sense of it all, and it can get, it can get dicey. Um, but I'm happy to say that making this record with my dad was one of the best things I've ever done in my life. I'm so happy we did it. I want to say thank you to my dad. He's out there. 